Why don't we start with these uh, new chips? This is really special technology. Uh, two nanometers is so small, it's basically the size of a human strand of DNA. So you talk about potentially huge exponential increase in computing power and doing it with less energy. Um, but IBM's not a chip maker, so I just wonder, how did you do this? How did this come about and why? Well, first of all, good morning, Becky, and it's a pleasure to be here with all of you in Squawk Box. When we think about chip technology, while we do not manufacture chips, we have always been deeply engaged in the advanced R&D on chips. Uh, chips form the basis of uh, all computers, and so we care deeply about this with, for advances in 5G, on AI, on quantum computing, uh, which we did hear you mention all of those. So then when we come down to this, the world's currently at seven nanometers. Two nanometers gives us a chance to be 45% better performance, 75% less energy, and more importantly, fuel the, the, all of the advances we need in order to make, whether it's mainframes or quantum computers or AI chips. They come to market through our partners, and I'll mention two, Samsung and Intel, who will take advantage of all of these uh, advancements we have made and then take them to market through their fabrication plants. But in the end, uh, getting assured about semiconductors, making sure we are at the leading edge of technology, making sure that we actually make data centers much more sustainable, and all of the advances we want on 5G, AI, quantum, is the reason that we keep investing in this. Are these chips going to be man manufactured in the United States? Because there have been huge concerns uh, about the chip shortage around the globe and our own supply chain here in the United States. Short answer, Becky, is absolutely yes. Uh, we have been uh, urging the government to move forward with its CHIPS Act, as well as creating a national semiconductor technology center. We believe that the combination of those two is going to enable a lot more manufacturing within the United States, and many people will be able to take advantage of that. Uh, as we urge this, uh, the CHIPS Act to pass, we believe people will put up more of these plants in the United States, and we've already heard a few companies uh, talk about doing that. And then we can fuel it with our two nanometer technology that will let them be at the leading edge of manufacturing, and that will benefit all of us. I mean, I know we talk about semiconductor shortages, and that's a real problem, not just this year, but probably for a year or two to come. And it's not just automobiles, so that has been talked about a lot. The chip shortage will impact uh, computers, will impact K-12 through education with laptops as well as tablets will impact consumer electronics, health electronics, and so it'll go across the industry, and it is something that the government should take quite seriously, which I believe they are from our conversations with them, but then we urge them to pass the funding so that the manufacturing can come back uh, on, on the United States uh, rem premises. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.